plastic, the miracle material of the 20th century, has invaded every corner of our planet and colonized our daily lives, more plastic will be produced in the coming decade than has been produced since its inception, and the pace of manufacturing is further accelerating. Without some rapid modification, there will be more plastic than fish in our ocean by the year 2050. The Race for Water Foundation launched in 2015 its first round-the-world expedition to study plastic pollution. It revealed that there is no plastic island, but rather a plastic soup composed of plastic dusts, which is impossible to clean up. The vast majority of plastic waste leaks into the ocean from land. It is therefore essential to act on shore before debris reach the sea. We need to tackle the problem on land while still manageable. We have to reduce the inputs of the plastic from the land to the ocean. Globalization and the homogenization of our consumer lifestyle have spared no region of our planet. In many countries where plastic recycling is unavailable, the waste is at best stored, at worst it is open burned, producing highly toxic pollution. At each stopover during our expedition we met with people overwhelmed with plastic waste. Every five minutes you've seen a plastic bottle go by. People used to go to the beach to collect seashells, collect driftwood. Now they go to the beach for beach cleanups. We delved into the issue talking with scientists, industrialists and recyclers to better grasp the multiple causes of the problem and to find a practical solution. <laughs> to solve the issue for the long term, the solution has to be both sustainable and economically viable. We therefore propose to give plastic waste a commercial value so that it becomes profitable for street collection, like aluminium, paper or glass. Thanks to its fieldwork during the first expedition, the Race for Water Foundation was able to identify an innovative technical solution to generate commercial value from plastic waste. Our industrial partner, the company Etia, will build a machine to transform plastic waste into electricity or industrial gases, such as hydrogen. The sale of electricity or gases will be used to remunerate waste pickers, creating an economic motivation to harvest plastic waste in the streets before it reaches rivers or the ocean. But our commitment does not end there. We must accelerate the energy transition to protect the ocean from atmospheric pollutions, in particular from carbon dioxide and sulfur emitted by commercial cargoes that acidify seawater and kill coral reefs, affect mollusks and oxygen-producing planktons. The diesel fuel used by these large cargoes, backbones of the world commercial trading, contains 3,500 times more sulfur than the one for automobiles. The 16 largest cargoes emit more sulfur dioxide than all the automobiles in the world. This pollution notably accelerates ocean's acidification. Fossil fuel transportation must be replaced by sustainable and clean energy sources. Hydrogen is a clean energy of the future, on land as well as the seas. We have designed and built the first hybrid solar hydrogen powered ship. In April 2017, the Foundation launches a five year odyssey around the world to promote new innovative solutions to preserve our ocean, accelerate the world's transition from fuel to clean energy sources, collaborate with teams of scientists, and educate our youngsters. This is a world's odyssey, this is your odyssey. Join us, get involved, help us innovate. With your support, we will preserve our ocean. <laughs>